So I want to show you guys. Well, here's the page that's going to have this part attached to it. And you got to make sure that um, you have that planned out before you adhere the paper on because you want to cover it with the paper just like that. And then um, it's going to fold like that. And then you're going to cut out um, the same dimensions of this part here and adhere that on top. So that's what I'm going to show you here, how to do that. So you just take your ATG gun and then you got to make sure that you're at the edge. Now I have a hard time using the ATG gun, I still need to practice some more. But sometimes it works perfectly for me and then sometimes it, you know, the glue starts balling up with the, the tape here. I'm always at war with this thing. But it's either this or the Siron, and the Siron costs a lot. You know, once it runs out, you have to like buy the refill cartridge, and it's expensive. So just add more here, add some to the middle. I'm not really worried since um, this isn't a shipboard album, so I don't really need to completely use. Um, a lot of uh, adhesive, just making sure that the sides are completely um, even there. And then you're going to take um, this off. So what you're going to do is you're going to line it up like that. Well, maybe I shouldn't have taken that off yet, but tape it back on there. Okay, and you're going to add some tape to this too. Fold it and then um, line it up with the edge here. Now you can go ahead and do this to all the pages first where you want the pocket. Just so you don't forget. You take that out. And then after that you adhere your paper. Making sure that the pattern goes where it's supposed to. Okay, so this here. That's about right. Okay. And then you just line it up where the edge here is already here and let's see. Okay, and there you go. So there you have that page and you're just going to Add another here once you measure it and cut it out and then this will be a pocket for more tags so just like that and then you have this pipe this part right here so there you go okay so here I have all my pages adhered with um, the pattern paper and I went ahead and embellished it see how thick my album is and this actually, the binding here, where I did the accordion, um, the accordion hinges, actually accommodates to the thickness of um, all the embellishments that I included in the pages here, as you can see. And it's good to plan ahead when you're doing this, when you're doing the hinges also, um, how thick you want it, and see how I made this part thin, and then it goes into. Um, just a variation of the thickness of it because I know like the first two pages isn't going to have that much um, you know of the embellishment that's um, really the thick flowers but you know I just planned it accordingly and that's why it sits perfectly like that without needing any closure but you can also include closures if you want so I figured um, I wasn't going to need a closure for this one and I wanted to do the, the zetter closure but then it is a little too thick so this is fine because it will just sit perfectly flat just like that. Okay so on to the binding. Um, what you're going to do is 
you're going to take a piece of the medium weight chipboard and then since this is a 6x6 six six, you're going to know that this part will be 6 inches and um, this is just an example I'm showing you but I did cut out one already that I had measured and what you're going to do is um, when you do measure it you want it to be slightly um, sh like you know not not too covered here but like a little bit shorter in width just a tad bit just so that you know when it sits it this doesn't come out once it sits like that and you'll have this like groove but instead um, you want it slightly smaller so it's perfect and with the chipboard I went ahead and I had covered it with paper because um, you want you know like if you don't cover it then when you open it you'll end up seeing it on the bottom here just like if I was to use just this bare chipboard you'll see it once you open up the pages since this is an accordion hinge it'll just you know you'll end up seeing it that's why it's better to just cover it so I covered it and then with the mulberry paper what you're gonna do is you measure it accordingly on how much you want how much you want it to um, cover the front part and I don't want it too much so I just did like about an inch and a half just because um, the frame that I'm using I don't want it to overlap so it'll just fit perfectly here and this is how it would look like so when you cover your chipboard the ugly piece here will go in the back here adhere to this and then you put red line tape here and red line tape here and then you just go ahead and adhere it all together and then you'll have a perfect binding just like that.